So today we're going to be unboxing a pretty new product. I actually know nothing about this. I am going in cold on the Archon CPU cooler from Thermalright. So you can see it comes in their traditional brown box packaging because Thermalright's philosophy is spend money on developing the product and making it awesome and not on developing the box and making it awesome. The performance should speak for itself. We've got a Thermalrite sticker included. We also have instruction guides for LGA 775, 1156, and 1366, as well as AM2, AM2+, and AM3. And then we have a little assembly package contents listy thing. So here is all of our stuff for Intel. Here's our stuff for AMD. Here's our common components and some more common components, including a tool fan clips for dual fans, as well as thermal compound. And I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. So the first thing we find in the box is a thermal right fan. So this is a 140 millimeter fan. All right, it has a sleeved cable, which uses a pretty good quality sleeving. It's a four pin PWM fan. And why don't we just kind of go ahead and take that off? I actually have one of these already. It's quite quiet. I'm really pleased with the overall quality of this fan. And I'm very, very fussy about fans. I'll have you guys know. Uh, that's why I use uh, a quadruple and a dual radiator in my own machine at home in order to cool a CPU and a single graphics card. It's all about having silent, silent performance for me. So thermal right is obviously a pretty good choice. All right, what do we got here? We have accessories. So this is going to be everything that was on that little list. So let's go ahead and dump this out and find out what we got. Oh, and this is going to be the, oh, no, it was going to be the debut of my new unboxing knife, but instead it will just be me borrowing the crazy Russian's knife and uh, opening this up. All right, cool. So the first thing, let's talk about these. These are little rubber pads that you put on the corners of your fans to keep them from transferring vibrations to your CPU cooler. Did I mention Thermal Right is optimized for quiet performance? These are little rubber pieces. As far as I know, these have the same effect. So I guess they're giving you two options. Hold on, maybe I'm missing something here. Why don't we find out? There's only one way to know for sure. So what are they saying those are for? Well, this is madness. I thought they were for the same thing. There's nothing in the instructions about it at all. Okay, well, moving forward, I will assume they are for the same thing. Here's our fan clips. So we have four wire clips to mount two fans, so we can run this in push-pull. We have our included tool, which has a wrench as well as another more different wrench. Okay, we have our little thumb screw here. We have uh, this piece. Aha, the thumb screw came out of here. So this is the hold down for tightening it down, right there. All right, and that's what that wrench is for, one of the sides anyway. Here we have our AMD mounting hardware. I love Thermal Wright's mounting hardware because everything is solid. I mean, here, look, it's all made out of like steel. You can't, you can't bend it. It doesn't bend. It's solid. You've got a nice thick back plate, nice thick hold down plate. Same goes for the Intel. You've got these nice steel back plates and hold down plates. That means that not only, oh yeah, thermal compound as well. That means that not only is the system going to be 100% okay when it's sitting in one place in terms of not falling off your motherboard, but even you can ship thermal right coolers. Uh, at NCIX, the store where I work, hopefully most of you know that by now, we actually do ship a lot of systems and thermal right coolers are among the best ones for shipping because even though they're heavy and bulky, they use an appropriate mounting system that doesn't rely on wussy push pins or anything like that in order to ensure that nothing bad happens during shipping because you've got a lot of weight hanging off your socket. So if you reinforce it with a good back plate and a solid hold down, that's going to go a long way towards having it not fall off. So this thing is monstrous. Look at this. Okay, well, we'll do the obligatory finger shot, which you can see is just and it completely a mirror finish. So I'm just going to have a quick look. This is a convex base, I can tell from uh, looking at my reflection back at me, which means that the very middle of it is slightly higher than the outsides. And so combined with their high pressure mounting system, which you can see right here, that gives you 
optimal contact with the CPU directly over the die under the heat spreader where all of the heat is being produced. So that is why they've gone with that particular design characteristic of the Archon heatsink. Now this is clearly a 140 millimeter heatsink because it's clearly bigger than a 120 millimeter heatsink and it uses a whopping six heat pipes in a U shape. So that means you have effectively 12 heat pipes to transfer heat all along this heatsink. But one thing I also want you guys to note here is you see how there's a bit of a gap in the middle? That's for a very good reason because no matter what fan you're putting on it, most of the cooling, most of the airflow is going to be at the outside. So you can see right over that fan hub, so the hub is this part in the middle, there's no heat pipes carrying heat. And then as soon as we get out where the blades are going to be blowing air, we've got lots of heat pipes. So we've got actually dual ranks of heat pipes times three, six heat pipes up, up each side of the Archon cooler. The top uses kind of a matte finish. Okay, but very, very slick, very professional looking, but not very shiny, okay, compared to the base, which is extremely shiny. And the heat pipes use sort of a semi-shiny finish on them. We've also got some interesting, some other interesting aspects here. So instead of going with a completely straight fin, Thermalright has actually done a couple of things. They've taken the fins and they've bent them like this, which is going to give you slightly more surface area and slightly more turbulence when you're blowing air through it. And then they've also gone and... Uh, uh, ridged them a little bit this way so that from my experience anyway and from what I've seen is able to allow you to reduce the noise slightly by making the airflow going through it uh, making the heat sink slightly more aerodynamic as you push the air through it so it's a fine line because you want to increase turbulence to get better cooling. Remember, more turbulence is more cooling. If you had fins that were wavy like this throughout the whole thing, that would give you better cooling than straight fins or even slightly rippled fins, but you would really sacrifice on the noise because moving the air around like that makes it a lot more uh, whooshy sounding, a lot more noisy. So thank you for checking out this unboxing of the Thermalright Archon CPU cooler and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, guides, reviews, all kinds of great stuff.